Hello. Hello, Christoph. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. How how is everything? You just missed a good games class, Christoph. Uh, it was really good. You don't like playing games, do you? Um, <laughs> no, you're not really fussed. Yeah, we played a game of Taboo, and yeah, it was pretty fun. It was a good game. So now we're into the proper lesson now of some environment talk. I'm just having a cup of tea, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> Give myself some energy because my throat is so dry. I don't know why. So I need to drink some tea. I'm gonna, so don't mind me drinking tea, Krista. So how you been anyway? How's work? Ah, pretty good, pretty good. Busy. Are you working today, or you got you're working, or I working if I want. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Kind of go on the Kalingo whenever, isn't it? Excellent. Okay, let me just check something here. Morning, Roberto. How are you? Hi. Doing good. Thank you. Good to see you again, Roberto. Where are, you, where are you coming from, Roberta? I never got to ask you. Uh, I live in Japan. Oh, Japan. Okay. We had Heidi and Ken from Japan. So we did in the previous class. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. Um, you don't know my name, do you? Um, uh, Sakina? Yes. You got it. You got it in one. Yeah. My name is Sakina, and I'm from the UK. Um, I tend to forget to introduce myself to the class sometimes, but yeah, my name is Sakina, and I'm the only one, well, me and my husband are the only ones from the UK. The rest are all the Americans, so yeah. Ken, welcome. How are you? Yes, yes. I, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, how did you find the game, guys, Roberto and Ken? Did you like it? Oh, yes, I like it. Yeah. Your, bra your brain wasn't too fried, was it? <laughs> I hope it wasn't fried. Fried? What, what, yeah. what does that mean? <laughs> it's just basically, um, well, it's a kind of slang that we use in Northern mm -hmm. Ireland, basically mm -hmm. to say that your brain wasn't disrupted. You mm -hmm. know, is it still intact? Is it still alive? It's just oh, basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a way of describing how mm -hmm. the brain is. Yeah, it's a slang. Don't, don't worry about that word, Ken. It's just the way I talk sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, guys. So we'll just wait, um, maybe a minute or two, um, until that maybe get some more people. So um, Roberto, do you know Christoph and Ken? Um, yeah, I've, I've had classes with them before. Okay, yeah. And Christoph, do you know Roberto? You know Ken, right? I know you know yes. Ken. <clears throat> yeah. So we don't need to do any introducing today. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent, guys. Okay. So, um, I don't know. Should we go ahead and start the class? I'm not sure. Okay, we can go ahead and start the class because it's five past now. Let me just have my another zip of my tea. Okay, another sip of the tea. Sorry. Okay, guys. So today. We're going to be learning about um, what well, we're going to. The topic is the environment, and the basically the, the environment. So the article is called um, "Chemtrails." Anyone know the meaning of what that is? Chemtrails. Have you ever heard of it before? Of that word in the news, the newspapers? Yes, it's about uh, uh, airplanes. Uh, and these white uh, trails after uh, airplanes. Yeah, that's right. And do you know what they're trying to do with these chemtrails, um, Christoph? Uh, <laughs> it's uh, from, I don't know. <laughs> it's a uh, uh, water, it's a uh, vapor. <laughs> you think it's good for the environment? Uh, it's uh, nothing uh, with environment. Yeah, okay. All right, and Ken, what about you? Have you heard from chemtrails before? Uh, no, I've never heard of it. Yeah, okay, so we're going to learn about it today. And Roberto, are you the same as well, or have you heard a little bit? Um, uh, I've heard it about it before, but related to conspiracy theories. Yes. And 
I've read a little, but I don't believe the theory, actually. Really? You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I think I do. I am a skeptic. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I think I have to disagree on you there. I think I do believe there is some type of conspiracy that they're trying to set out for the environment. Definitely, yeah. So we're going to actually read about it today, and then we can just talk about it as well. Okay, guys. So um, before we start, um, we'll do a little warm-up, okay? And I would like to ask you guys, um, so Ken, we'll start with you. Mm -hmm. What country would you prefer to visit, Italy or France, and why? Why? Oh. Yeah. Italy and France. Since I learned, I've learned the French a bit. Uh huh. So <laughs> maybe French, but I'm really interested in Italy as well. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what country would you prefer to actually go there and visit and see things? So me, uh, it's me. Uh, for me, it, France. So France. Okay. Yeah. And your reason? Your reason for that? Because I know a little bit French. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a matter of just you'll be able to communicate with the French if you were to go there. Kind of, I just say hello to them. Bonjour. <laughs> well, that's the, so bonjour. That's the yeah. Yes. Bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be the same as well. I can only say bonjour and that's it. Can anyone else speak French? Christophe, can you speak a little bit of French? Mm. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, wow. yeah. Really few words. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd know more than me. <laughs> and Roberto, can you speak a little bit of French? No? Or? No. no. Yeah, Japanese and English, right? Uh, no. <laughs> English oh. and Spanish. Really? Uh, oh. Yep. Uh, actually, I am Peruvian. I am just happen to live in Japan. Ah, oh, right, okay. I thought you were from Japan. All right, excellent. Okay. And Asama, welcome. Uh, welcome again. How, how are you, Asama? I'm glad you can join again. Okay, glad to see you again. Okay, glad to see you as well. Excellent. Okay, Christoph, what country? Italy or France? Uh... For me, uh, Italy is better than France. Mm -hmm. I okay. can stand French people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the French here say that, Christophe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you prefer to go to Italy, and why? But why in terms of the country? What is so spectacular about Italy that you would like to go there instead of France? Um, I, I know, I know that it's the people, but I'm talking about, I mean, the country itself. A country. <clears throat> mm, yes. Uh, so, uh, I would like to travel to Rome. Okay. Uh, they have spectacular. Uh, how is this uh, arena? <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, they have nice architecture there. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. I think I would agree with you there. I think Italy would be really nice to go to, to visit. Yeah. Okay. Asama, what about you? Italy or France? I think, uh, I think I mean no one. <laughs> None of them? Really? I know, but Osama, you have to select which one. Come on. Okay. <laughs> if I maybe if I if I have to, I will select it. maybe maybe uh, maybe I guess uh, uh, Italy. Italy, yeah. yeah Italy. And your reason? Yeah. You have a reason? I think because the history, uh, the ancients like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Okay. You have okay, fair enough. And Roberto, what about you? What would you prefer to visit? Um, Italy as well. Yeah. Wow, well, we're all for Italy today. 
Okay, and your reason, Roberto? Uh, I love its history. It has plenty of historical landmarks, mm -hmm. just not the Roman Empire, but also the uh, Renaissance, Florence, uh, Venezia, mm -hmm. and also um, I love pizza. <laughs> yeah, our pizza, yeah, pizza, pizza, yara, yeah. Yeah, the pizza there is really nice. But, you know, funny enough, when I went to Verona, um, I think maybe it was a certain cafe that I went to, and I ordered the pizza, the, the original pizza with the cheese and tomato. But I tasted it, and I was like, hmm, I don't know. It wasn't really, um, it wasn't agreeing with me 100%, so I thought maybe I could taste better um, pizzas from the UK. So maybe I went to the wrong cafe, I'm not sure, but yeah, probably need to go to one of the best cafes there or the restaurants, but yeah. Isn't that where uh, Romeo and Juliet were set? Verona? Verona? I'm not sure actually. I'm not sure. Anyone know? I never actually really watched that movie. Uh, yes. Uh, they are yeah. living are in they? Italy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, Italy, but what um, part do you know? I'm not sure. I never watched that movie. I'm not really into... Um, Actually, uh, a lot of... Most Shakespeare works uh, mm -hmm. you know, based on the Italian works beforehand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it okay. could happen in Italian town. Okay, so there you go, Roberto. <laughs> he, answered my, he answered your question. Yeah, yeah, well, I only seen maybe some of it, but I wouldn't really watch sing-along movies and the old-style movies. I'm more into my action movies and my dramas and my horrors as well. And, of course, comedies. Of course, comedies. I like my comedy movies. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so let's move on to the grammar. Anyone know what the grammar is going to be today? I think, Christoph, you put it in the chat box. Yes. You are way ahead of us, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm going to make this lesson a bit challenging today because I think you guys all know uh, what comparatives and superlatives are by now. Am I right? Of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay, so I'm going to make it just a little bit different today. Okay, so let's start on the pronunciation. Okay. So, guys, um, we're going to just really kind of just go through the differences between um, pronouncing air or er. Okay. For instance, we have hair and we have her. Okay. So, can anyone give me another word sounding with er er ter ter yes uh huh very good later later yes anyone else the ber yeah uh huh and there yes good Anyone else? I'm going to brainstorm words from you guys today. Dark. Yes, dark. Okay, so what I want you guys to do, I'll give you two minutes, and I want you guys to think of two words with er and um, air. Air. Air and er. So A I R and E R. Okay? And I want you to form a sentence. So a sentence of each. Okay? So I'll give you two minutes and uh, we can go through them in class. Okay? Because um, I think you guys are aware of the words. So I think I just want you guys to actually form it into a sentence and actually pronounce it yourselves. Okay, guys? Do we all understand what we have to do? Yeah? Mm. Yep. Yeah? Okay. So I will give you two minutes, guys, okay? And you can type it in the chat box when you're finished. All right, so, yeah. Just let me know when you're finished, guys, okay? Ha <laughs> ha. 
Okay, anyone finished? We need more time. Okay guys, time is up. It doesn't matter if you got if you got one, that's fine. Don't worry about the, the second one. Don't worry about the second one. Okay, so um did we get a nice sentence with a lovely word? Okay. Can? Yeah, you're finished? Yes, I'm not sure about art hard. Uh, hmm, heard. Um, well, I'm trying to maybe get um, basically some words that are ending with er and ending with ir. Yeah. So like pair and um, bigger, stronger, longer. You know, at er ending. Yeah. Yeah. So basically just the ending of the word that has the IR and ER. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. All right. So maybe I didn't explain myself properly. Yeah. Just focusing on the words there. Okay. Okay. I got it. Can you think of one now or? Uh, here. For mm -hmm. first one, and lighter for second one. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Christoph, what about you? I use. Uh, it's not fair to use hands in soccer. You have to tear this document after you read it. Very good. So you have the I R, and then you have the M. Okay, tur, yeah, as well. Um, yeah, all right. But I would like to have had the ending there, but that's okay. That's good, good sentence there. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, Osama, managed to find yeah, a word? Uh, I think the killer was called by a police officer. Officer, yeah, very good. E R at the end, uh huh. And Roberto, what about you? Uh, shoes and socks are sold in pairs, and I believe we can do the brainstorming faster. Very good, yeah, excellent, excellent, guys. So you guys know the technique of sounding out the words. Anyone know what we have to do? We have to. Christoph, you have an idea what we have to do? <laughs> no idea. Okay, there are three basic instructions of sounding the, the R sound, okay? First, you're going to round your lips, okay? Like that. I don't like doing these pronunciations. <laughs> and then you're going to push your tongue sideways, okay? Against your back oh. teeth, okay? And then you're going to curl the tip of your tongue either down, but you're not going to touch the bottom teeth, okay? You're not going to touch the bottom teeth. So we're going to have a go at these two sentences, okay? Um, with using this technique, all right? So, who wants to have a go at sounding out this sentence? Okay. I can say first. Yeah, okay, Christoph, go on ahead. Okay. My cup is bigger than yours. Joe's her is longer than James. Excellent. 10 out of 10. Very good. Okay. Can? Okay. My cup is bigger than you. 
yours. Uh, Jules' hair is longer than Jane. Very good. Excellent, Ken. Osama? Okay. My cup is bigger than yours. Jules' hair is longer than Jane's. Okay, so don't forget to emphasize on the er. My cup is bigger. Bigger. Okay? And the tongue, not touching the teeth, okay? Mm. So don't forget to round your lips, okay? Bigger. Er. Okay? And Roberto? My cup is bigger than yours. Jill's hair is longer than Jane's. Very good, Roberto. Excellent. Okay, guys. Well, let's move on to the grammar. Does anyone have any questions? <clears throat> yeah. I heard uh, here. How does... Uh, I hug her. 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 H-E-R. H -E -R. Ah. Here. Uh, her. Okay. Yeah, here, here is different, it's a different meaning, and her is, you're referring to her as a person, a female, yeah. And uh, I'm not sure, what American explains, you know, here and here, there, pronounce uh, here and there in England, but is it true? Here and there, with mm -hmm. there, um, it's got the TH, so it's got the double sound. Mm -hmm. So you have to emphasize on your tongue and your mm -hmm. mouth. So you're going to pronounce there like this, the, 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 there, there. 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 So it's like kind of like a vibration on your throat, there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. feel your throat and pronounce there. There. Yes. Okay. And here, mm -hmm. here, you don't feel the vibrations mm -hmm. on your throat. Mm -hmm. So here it doesn't have a double sound, but always mm -hmm. remember there it has a double sound yeah. and it's a vibration on your throat when you feel it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Does that okay. explain? Um, yes, I got is it. Is that what you were asking me? Was it the difference yeah. between the two? Ah, yes. And you know, I just confirmed what American said about British English pronunciation. Yeah. yeah. Um, I got it now. You got it now? Yeah, we mm. pronounce it. Well, no, actually, I think we pronounce it the same. Americans, here, here. I think they pronounce it like this, here. And then they pronounce there, 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 there. Yeah, I think maybe the Americans don't really emphasize on the, 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 the. Maybe. Mm. I'm not okay. sure. I don't really have American friends, but I'm assuming by hearing them. Um, but it's the correct way of emphasizing on the TH, which is a double sound, the, the, there, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Keep practicing. Yeah. Uh, thank you. All right? No problem. Okay. So let's move on to the grammar. Okay. Uh, so... I have a question about the pronunciation. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, of course, um, Roberto. Can you help me uh, how to pronounce these words? Okay, so her, E-R at the end, er, and then all you're going to add is the H, which is her. The H. Hair, hair, hair. Yes. So have a go, Roberto. Pronounce the first one. Hair. Okay, so that sounds like the actual hair on your head. So you need to emphasize on the E-R. So try it again. Um, her? Yes, okay. Her. 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 It's a long E. Yes. And then the um, next one? Next one? Have hair. Hair, yes. Okay. Hair. Yeah, and the next one, um, okay, the next one, hair, would be the same, uh, same pronunciation um, as the first two, as the first one which is E-R, okay, Long. yeah, and the last one, you have the A in that word, which is hair, hair, I think that's how you pronounce it, yeah, I never hair. heard of that word before, actually, <laughs> it's a word. rabbit, ah, okay, I definitely haven't heard of that one, but you have the A there, so don't forget to pronounce the A, so have a go at the last one, Roberto, hair, yes, it's similar to the IR, okay, the IR, yeah. What I'll do, guys, I have, you know the double sound letters? Have, do, you, do you guys know the double sounded letters? 
the E R I R T H. You guys are aware of these ones? Hang on, let me type it in. Um, this one. Diphthong. Um, they're basically double sounded letters, Christoph, and usually um, you teach them to the foundation stage. Um, usually just to correct the pronunciation. But these, there's a lot of double letter sounds that you can practice on and then you form the word together. Um, so we have the SH, we have the CH, which is CH, and then we have the AI, okay, and we have the ER. All right. Have you guys heard of these double sounded letters before? A R. Yeah. Yeah. So chair. The, yeah, chair. And what about the S H? Grasshopper. Sorry, Roberto. Uh, grasshopper. A buck. Uh. Yeah, with the E R at the end. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. What about the S H? Have you guys heard of that? S H, uh, yes. Shrink. Yes, yes, that's one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shine. Yeah. Yes, shine. Shrine. Yeah. Okay. So these these double letter sound guys, um, they're good to practice as well, um, and then forming the words, and then you will get the the correct pronunciation of them when you actually find them in the words. So just keep an eye on these guys and keep practicing the double letter sounds, okay? Okay. All right. So, Roberta, did I answer your question okay? Yes, thank you. Yeah. So just focus on the double letter sounds, Roberto, okay? I think you can try them on the Internet. You can check them on the Internet and then practice, practice with the words, all right? Okay, thank you. No problem, Roberto. The okay. vowels, all right? Yes, double sounded. They're double double vowels, yeah. All right. Okay, guys. So, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the grammar. So, guys, can you guys give me an example of using a comparative form an adjective? Comparative. So, comparative and superlative are different. Okay. Christoph, how are they different? Comparative and superlative. Uh, so uh, comparative is and uh, usually with uh, er, mm -hmm. and uh, superlative is and with uh, est. Yes, that's right. Yep. And there's something else that you have to add as well <clears throat> when you're comparing. Ah, with you, if you compare, you add uh, than, uh -huh, yes. and if you superlative, you have to add that. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh, very good. So for comparatives, guys, it's used to compare one thing to just one other thing. So you're comparing, and we're usually, like Christoph did say, we're usually adding the ER, and we're adding than, so bigger than. Okay. But can anyone think of a sentence they can give for an example of using comparative? Uh, the Italian are nicer than uh, French. <laughs> I was saying, don't say that. <laughs> yes. Okay. The Italians. Yeah. Very good. Anyone else can? Can you think of an example of using mm. comparative? Mm. American land is bigger than Japanese land. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Roberto? Can you think of a, a sentence? Mm. Jupiter is farther away from us than Mars. Um, you would say furthest, uh, further farther. away. Farther. Further away from, but you want to actually add in the than, uh, than after further. Can you think of another one? 
okay. Mm. Using ER or can I yes. use more? <laughs> ER, yeah, ER with than. So you're comparing something to another thing. You can um, use a person, you can use um, a building, you can use a country. Okay. Um, Norway is colder than Egypt. Yes, very good. Excellent. Yep. Okay. And Asama, what about you? Can you think of one? Okay. Um, uh, my brother is taller than me. Very good. Excellent, guys. So these are comparatives when we're comparing things to another person or another building or we can use it for countries etc okay so I'm going to give you guys a word okay and if you can possibly um, change it to comparative so can I will mm -hmm. give you interesting oh actually mm -hmm. I'll give you cheap 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 okay oh uh, this uh, this apple is uh, cheaper than that uh, than that supermarket uh, supermarket I, I kind of um, uh, this supermarket sells uh, apples cheaper than that supermarket than the other supermarket yeah, yeah okay so you can elaborate on the name of the supermarket as well to support yeah. your answer, yeah, very good. Yeah, okay, good. And Christoph, what about good? That's a tricky um, one. Okay. Mm. Good. Um, good. What can be good? Mm -hmm. uh, Tomorrow will be better weather we, uh, than we have now. Better than we have now. Okay, yeah, very good. Yes, yeah, so basically that was a tricky one, Christoph, and you passed that one. Guys, with certain words um, like, like good, um, we don't usually add the ER or we don't add than. We usually change it to better. So we have good and then we have better. And then we have bad, and then we have worse. Yes. So you can't really put um, this boy is gooder than me. You usually have to change it. So these type of words are irregular case. They're kind of special words compared to big, cheap, loud, hot. Okay. So these words are different, and you have to change them as well. All right, guys. Okay. So for a two-syllable adjective ending in Y, for example, pretty, how would we change that to comparative? What would be the construction? Uh, adding ER. Uh, yes. It sounds prettier. Yes. So when we have the consonant Y, we need to... Erase Y and add E. I. I E. Yeah, that's right. So anything um, ending with a consonant Y, we need to change it and we need to add the I E R. Okay. Can anyone think of another example of when we have to change? Dry. Okay. Okay. Another one. Anyone think of one? When we have the Y at the end and we want to actually remove the Y and put the I-E-R. Hi, uh, it, it's not the case. Yeah. Uh, high, how about higher? No, but it's not Y actually. Higher, no. There's no Y there. Yeah. So think a word that has an, a Y, an adjective that has a Y. In regards to weight, you know, weight, maybe? Heavier. Yes, good, heavier, yeah, okay. So these are the examples with the Y, guys, okay? We need to remove the Y and add the IER, all right? Um, another thing we need to add with comparative, 
And um, we also anything any adjectives that have the two or more syllable, for example, useful, we can add more useful. Pleasant, we add more pleasant. Interesting, we add more interesting. Complicated, more complicated. So for the comparatives, guys, and um, there are three things that we need to actually remember. Comparatives, we add the ER. We have than, okay, and we have the irregular case as well. And any words, any adjectives that are ending a Y, we remove the I and put the IER. And we also, if it's two or more syllable adjectives, for example, useful, we add in more useful. All right. So these are the three things you need to remember for using comparative form. Okay. And um, so we'll have a look at some examples, guys. Okay. So our new car is bigger than our last car. This software is more useful than the one made by its competitor. This book is more interesting than what I thought it would be. So these are three examples we can use with comparative form. All right. Any questions, guys, so far with comparative? No, but do you have parrot in your room? Art? Parrot. A parrot? No, I don't. <laughs> it's something uh, whistling. No, I don't think it's my end. I think it's one of your guys. Maybe and maybe can do you have a parrot? Parrot? Hmm? Yeah. Pa parrot. Bard? You mean? Parrot. Know. Do you have a parrot outside no. anywhere? No. <laughs> Osama, you have a parrot outside anywhere? Uh, no, I guess. Roberto, you have a parrot outside anywhere? No. no. Okay. So no. I think uh, maybe it's. I don't know, we're hearing it from someone. No, I don't have one, unfortunately. I don't know. From time to time, I uh, hear whistling. Yeah. No, I don't think it's my end. No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So, any questions in regards to comparative guys? No? Okay. Let's move on to the superlatives. Okay. So, anyone know how superlatives go, the construction of the superlatives, what we have to add. Yes, mm -hmm. we have to add PST. Yes, good. And anything else? And the mm -hmm. ED. Yes, uh-huh. Ken, did you want to say something uh, as well? I just said uh, adding uh, uh, the before I, I mean, uh, how can I say that? A lot of syllable uh, separative uh, uh -huh. plus the, the most and yes. word yeah, makes separative. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, very good. So basically, guys, with a superlative, um, it's used to compare one thing to a lot of things. Okay, so we have big and we want to add in the. So with superlatives, instead of having than, we add the. So the biggest, cheap, the cheapest, loud, the loudest, hot, the hottest. These are examples of using the superlative. Okay. Now can anyone give me a sentence with using cheapest, the cheapest, the cheapest? A lovely the sentence. Cheapest. Yes. Uh, China produces the cheapest uh, product in the world. Okay. Yeah, very good. So you're comparing China to other countries. Yeah, very good. Anyone else have another sentence? Mm -hmm. What about using hot? The, uh, hot. hot. Yes. Hot. Okay, uh, this area recorded uh, the hottest uh, area uh, in uh, in July. Was in the July. hottest? Was the hottest? Yes, in yeah, July. Yeah, 
Very good, Ken. Yeah, that's another good example as well. Yeah. Okay. So another thing, guys, we need to remember as well with the consonant Y, and we need to remove the Y. So it, it applies the same to the superlative as well, but only we're going to add the IEST. So for example, if we have pretty, we need to, of course, add in the, and uh, we need to put in the prettiest, the prettiest. Dirty. Anyone know what how we can change it to superlative? Dirty. Mm, dirtiest. The dirtiest. Yeah. Silly. The silliest. Yes. Very good. So for two or more syllable adjectives, guys, we are going to add most. Most. Okay. So useful. The most. The most useful. Very good. Interesting. <sighs> The most interesting. Complicated. The most complicated. Very good. Excellent, guys. So there are the two things that you need to focus on, guys, um, for the comparatives and superlatives. Does anyone have any questions in regards to the two of forms? Any questions, guys? I'm good. No? Any questions? No? All I'm good? good? You do, Christoph? Yes, you have a question. No, I'm good. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I thought you said, I do, I do. I was like, Christoph, that's not like you. You never ask any questions. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's move on, guys, to the article then, shall we? Oh, okay. Fast. Yes, the lovely article. And I am so late. Oh my God, it's like nearly quarter to. Right, I want to send you guys the link, okay, guys? Because my screen share, I don't know how to do it on the laptop. I'm not sure how to do it. So it's safer if I just send you guys the link, okay? And just let me know if you have it opened. When you have it opened, we can go yes, through it. I have. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent, guys. So, uh, let's see. Who wants to read today? Because my throat is really bad, guys. So, if I can ask somebody to read. Who, who would like okay. to read? Can I help you? Yes, can. Please. Thank you. Okay. So, can you read the title of the article, Can Please. Okay. Organic <laughs> Agriculture uh, Ravaged. By, ravaged, um, yeah. Ravaged by uh, trails Monsanto uh, seizes the opp opportunity, profits, and dominates. Mm -hmm. Very good. So if you can start reading from natural news to mm -hmm. distant future, can please. Okay. Uh, uh, natural news. Organic farmers have uh, yet another environmental hazard to con contend with. This time, a complement of the U.S. government in the fo uh, form of uh, chemtrails, a mess of toxic chemicals. These harmful sprays uh, pollute the soil, water, and air while compromising, uh, compromising the health of humans. Com compromising, compromising. Compromising. Yes. The health of humans animals and plants. And now Monsanto has developed seeds that will weather the effect of the spray, creating a tidy profit for the corporation while organics suffer. If this uh, poisoning country is true, organic farming may become impossible in the not so distant future. Yes, very good. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you. So basically, guys, um, if um, we can just actually get Christoph, would you mind reading the next part and then we can just finalize okay. it here? Yeah, please. Just this bit here. And um, maybe if we can start from geo engineering to um what Solution. goes up must come down. Yeah. No, must come down. Yes. Can you see it there? Oh, I can. So it's basically the last word is down. Ooh. And it's before it's forming the yes, new yes, paragraph. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Geogen, uh, ge uh, geoengineering hides behind the claim of arresting global warming through atmospheric spraying of 
arsenic. Aerosols are aluminum, barium, depleted uranium, and substantial amounts of mercury. There's only one problem. What goes up must come down. Yeah. Thank you, Christoph. Thank you so much. So basically, guys, the chemtrails uh, are very, very, um, very dangerous to the soil, and they're very, da it's very dangerous to the environment. So it's gonna cause a lot of um, hazard to the soils. And I definitely do believe that it's remaining to the government. Definitely. So I want to hear your, uh, you guys. I want to hear what your views are on chemtrails. So, Ken, what do you think? Do you think mm -hmm. it's a conspiracy or do you think it's actually the truth? Actually, corporation, you know, uh, try to manipulate people. Yeah, that, that mm -hmm. sometimes happens. Mm -hmm. So I I don't I don't know uh, this case uh, because I need to check this news more because mm -hmm. I've never heard of this news before. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's likely to happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you look up in the sky, um, you see just the airplane. It's just spraying out white and um, paint all mm -hmm. over the sky, and people think it's the jets, but it's not the jets. It's the airplanes causing the sprays to um, disrupt the oil and the, the soil. So if I can show you guys pictures of um, what it looks like. Okay, let me just get some pictures for you guys. Chemtrails, let's have a look. And then you can actually see for yourselves. Okay. Because we see them all over UK. They're everywhere. So if I can just maybe send you the link, because my screen is not working, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so have a look, guys. You see the images of the different types of trails that um, this airplane creates up in the sky. You all see them? Yes. It's yeah. Natural vapor. Yeah. So I definitely think, yeah, they are definitely planning some things with the soil. Christoph, what is your view on chemtrails? Mm, I think it's natural vapor. Mm -hmm. If you uh, burn uh, oil in combustion, mm -hmm. you have uh, water and uh, on this uh, high elevation uh, mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, cold, so uh, this is a vapor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think it's good for the environment? Uh, I think it's neutral for mm -hmm. environment. Okay. Okay. And Roberto, what is your view on chemtrails? Yes, uh, I agree with what Christoph said. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it's uh, it's uh, it has happened before. Mm -hmm. and I think those are contrails, condens condensation vapor, and mm -hmm. it's uh, harmless to the environment. Yeah, okay. And Ken, do you think it's harmless to the environment as well? How can it spraying the chemicals mm -hmm. from the airplane? Yeah. Uh -huh. What do you think? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, it's up to the chemicals actually, but. Uh, some chemical is harmful for for the animals or humans. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent, guys. Right. So let's move on to the discussion questions. Okay. And um, as usual, Christoph and Ken know what I'm like. I'm just always <laughs> running out of time. Okay. So let's just select this. Okay. So I will give the first question to. Can you want to be the first one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's just your general opinion. It's not relating to the article here. This one. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's just asking which country has the cleanest environment and why. So if you can possibly maybe um, use a comparative form mm -hmm. or a superlative form to support mm -hmm. your answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I heard uh, Antarctica. Antarctica. I uh, forgot the name. Uh, the uh, land uh, where the South Pole is, Antar mm -hmm. 
Antarctica. Antarctica is the the most uh, the cleanest uh, environment land, but it's not the na a country actually. But anyway, I okay. heard of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yep. Okay. And Christoph, I will ask you another one. Um, what city is known for the beautiful parks? Is it London or New York? Mm. And why? And why? Uh, I think uh, 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 New York has uh, the biggest uh, uh, park uh, in the world. <laughs> okay, biggest park uh, in the it's, world. Uh, it's uh, uh, Central Park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boohoo! London's <laughs> nice as well. <laughs> yes, but I have been in London and they are not big. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to go to New York myself then and actually try it out and see. Yeah, I'm I sure it is. Uh, if you are in the central of the, this park, you do not hear yeah. uh, traffic. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, but I have been uh, in uh, London and I definitely hear uh, the traffic. Yes, the traffic is always the major factor in London. It's just the worst. It really is bad, yeah. Okay, very good. And let's see, uh, Roberto, okay. Um, if I can ask you, what is the number one problem in your country, Roberto? What do you mm. think? I think it's not about uh, the environment. I think it's more a s social uh, issue. It's about the inequality between the the distribution of wealth, because the mm. the wealthy people have uh, a lot of money, and the poor people mm. are always getting poorer. Yeah. And that gap is uh, growing uh, bigger. Okay. So, is there any possible way you can maybe relate it to the environment factor in Japan? Uh, oh, I was yeah. talking about Peru. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know, because Ken is from Japan as Sorry, well. I, I, I was confused, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 oh, we're fighting no. over the answer. We're fighting to answer, aren't we? Okay, so um, Ken, did you want to maybe, I don't know, Help uh, Roberto or something, or maybe you wanted to add something in there, or. But Roberto was uh, talking about Peru, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm talking about Japan. Don't you want to? No, 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 I was talking about Peru. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you would maybe talk about Japan. Okay, so what about Peru? The environment factor. Is there anything you can want to share? Okay, the main export in Peru is uh, in the mining sector. Okay. Um, there is a part in the mountains where the mines don't uh, don't stick to the laws, and okay. they contaminate whole cities. Oh. Actually, I think one of the most contaminated cities is in Peru. Oh wow! And it's because of uh, mining activities. Mm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, is there any possible way you can maybe add a comparative form or superlative form to support your answer? Mm, sure. Um, Actually, I did. I think I, I said the most uh, yes. polluted cities in the world is in Peru. One of the most polluted cities is Peru. Okay, yeah. Is in Peru, yeah. Yes, is in Peru. Okay, very good. Okay, and Ken, you want to talk mm. about Japan? Then I will give you. I'll give you the same question. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what is the number one problem in your country? Ah, uh, you know, for after the nuclear uh, power, ac uh, power plant accident, you know, that became a number one issue for in terms of environment. But other environment problem is happening uh, in Japan as well. Yeah. Okay, right. Because you know, okay. it could be a more universal issue. Um, and radiation is universal also. But uh, you know, plastic garbage issue. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, I okay. heard. Uh, mm, Plastic go to the ocean, and it you know, find uh, in the end uh, it uh, separate in very tiny t particles. Mm -hmm. So 
Uh, this plastic uh, fish eat that plastic. Oh, that's not because, good. Yeah, it look, looks like sea creatures, small sea oh, creatures. Oh, so no. That plastic is contaminating uh, the fish body, actually. I can imagine. Oh, that's really sad. God, and we need our fish. We need our omega oil. <laughs> we need our omega <laughs> oil. We can't lose any more fish. We can't lose any more fish. So can you give a, like a little line of a sentence of using a comparative and superlative form? Mm, the, the world, uh, the environment is uh, worse than ever. It's getting worse than ever. Okay. Okay. Bad, worse than, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can say that. Very good. Okay, guys. Right, okay, so let's quickly do the assessment. Um, and the assessment's going to be really quick, guys, okay? Right, so basically, guys, I will give you a word, and you have to form it into a comparative form, okay? So, Roberto, I will give you interesting. Okay, um... So remember, comparative. Okay, I think uh, science fiction books are more interesting than romance novels. Very good, Roberto. Excellent. And Ken, I will give you big. Mm -hmm. Big. Uh, big burger is bigger than a uh, hamburger. Okay, Christoph. Very good, Ken. Christoph, I will give you bad. Uh, mm. Remember irregular. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, France uh, uh, has worse wine than Italy. <laughs> has worse wine, really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is that, is that a fact? <laughs> I don't know because I don't taste wine. Okay. Very good. Uh, okay. So let's try another one. Okay. I don't want you guys to maybe I don't want you guys to form a sentence. I just want you guys to actually change it to a superlative, okay? So Roberto, I would give you funny. Uh, most funny? Remember superlative funny. I S T I S T. Funniest. Yes, very good. Remember the why. Remember the why. Okay, Ken, I will give you intelligent. The most intelligent. Yes. Okay. And uh, Christoph, I will give you good, good. Mm, the best. Yes, very good, excellent, guys. Okay, so you guys done really good with your assessment, and now it's time for me to go. I have to go now because my husband's gonna come on now and teach you. <laughs> so don't guys, go, was... don't go. Sorry, Christoph. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> I have to go. I have I have my son now, and he's going to be wanting food and breakfast. So, guys, well, listen, it was great teaching you guys. And, Roberto, it was nice to meet you. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon, guys. Okay, so I am logging off. I'll see, you, see you guys soon. Have a Thank good day. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.